Kenny Omega is out indefinitely now. Uh, he has been, uh, in fact, actually, he uh, had to go to the hospital. He got there just in time. He was putting off getting checked out. He was in a lot of pain. His tummy had a lot of bloating. He thought maybe he messed up on his diet and just general aches and pains and stuff like that. Got to the uh, got to the hospital where they diagnosed him with diverticulitis. Oh, so uh, most famously in the wrestling world, Brock Lesnar suffered with it when he was UFC champion, and there's other people like Jim Ross and Vince McMahon and stuff like that. I don't know if it's always dietary that causes diverticulitis, but uh, most. Yeah, so uh, explain explain diverticulitis to us for the lay person and why it's so sure. agonizing and dangerous. So uh, a, a good friend of mine growing up had across the yard, uh, uh, she had diverticulitis. And uh, she described it in your intestines, uh, they will get like a divot or like a uh, an opening where food passing through will get stuck there. And then it sits and sort of just rots out. And then that, of course, begins the inflammatory response in the body and becomes quite, quite painful and can be can cause a, uh, a blockage. And you know, enough of it stops there. And any of that, you know, the plumbing's not working uh, correctly, can be ex- life threatening. So uh, and of course, when that starts to rot, then you get like bacteria and things that come off of it. So that's a very serious condition. I, I hope uh, I don't think there's any cure for it. Uh uh, oftentimes surgery they'll try to like maybe remove that piece or whatever but once you start doing that you, you know uh, having intestines removed and things it really becomes a, a life-altering type of, of ordeal Kenny's young enough uh, and in good enough shape that hopefully he'll be able to get whatever treatment and, and move beyond it but uh I had said when he left a, a couple of years ago and then it was announced that he had what like 12 surgeries or something I mean like some crazy number of surgeries. And I said then, and I hoped I was wrong, that it's going to be tough for him to come back. You know, having a surgery or a few surgeries is really difficult. You know, to get yourself back in the shape and uh, into the mindset and uh, you know, bump shape, what we call bump shape, where your body gets sort of conditioned to take in the bumps and things. Uh, having that kind of surgery that early on in life, you know, in his mid thirties, is a really uh, Tough thing to overcome. Uh, you know, better medicines today, better uh, uh, medical uh, uh, techniques, better dietary stuff uh, will all work in his favor, of course. But you know, it's uh, at some point you have to begin to to look down the road and uh, you know the way I always tell it to friends is that you know I, I had kids when I was older, and so. Uh, I didn't want to be that old dad that couldn't, you know, go out and throw the ball with your kid or whatever. Hell, I'm out there playing Nerf guns and stuff with them back in the day. Uh, uh, there's a life after wrestling, and and uh, you know you have to think about that. And it's it's hard when we're young and invincible. But I think Kenny's had enough of the taste now of the uh, you know the injuries and the the amassing of those injuries and and, and what that caused, and now this. Uh, Hopefully, you know, if he wants to get back in the ring, he can get to, get to that point. Uh, but, you know, it, it's it's time to start to think about after, like, you know, moving down the road. Uh, somebody was just telling me about uh, uh, Bobby Roode and that he's working behind the scenes at WWE. Great guy to have back there. But, uh, I'm just perplexed as to why he was never world champion because he was a stallion. He was a stud, uh, is a stud. Uh but, you know, for Kenny, you know, the same type of thing. We have to all make our own decisions on how we're proceeding and moving forward in the business. And, uh, uh, you know, hopefully for him, wherever, whatever it is he wants to do. But I think he can bring a lot of wealth of experience in, in behind there, you know, and, and run, you know, be able to run his life after that and not be, you know, we, we've all seen, you know, some of the guys in our business that are just really hobbled up and, you know, crippled up and banged up and have all kinds of medical issues. Uh, and far too many dropping dead young. Uh, but I hadn't heard that about him. I, I wish him the best with that. It's a, but, but listen to your doctors, because that's a very serious condition, although so many people walk around with it.